Some makeup trends have been teetering on looking like drag makeup over the last several years, where in trying to de-accentuate male-looking features, it actually accentuates those features instead, unintentionally, of course. Yes, makeup is all about deceiving the eyes, but there's a point when deceiving the eyes begins to fail, where it becomes theatrical and farcical and people see it for what it is. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with people treating makeup that way. There have always been people who used makeup that way. But it wasn't part of the overall everyday trends. Though the 1800s offered some outrageous visual expectations onto women. But when I think of current makeup trends, I think of people like James Charles and Jeffree Star. Tons of people you see on TikTok. And the fact that drag has went somewhat mainstream. And I wonder if some point in the near future, whether people are going to get completely burned out on it. You know, oversaturation. Like comic book superhero movies. And don't get me wrong, I've often watched a lot of these makeup trenders because it's just a subject I'm interested in. But I also like to keep up with what is likely coming next for makeup trends, so I'll be like, oh yeah, here, I, I've, I've, I mean, I've seen it a number of times in person, you know, I initially see it online, and then I start to see it in person. I just kind of like to keep on top of that. And sometimes it's quite artistic and beautiful, even though there's sometimes where it's, it's very gaudy and looks like a, a drag performance, you know, but sometimes they're very beautiful. But even the ones that are beautiful, sometimes it presents something that is different than, than what the people who are wearing that makeup want to present. People take it differently. The worst trends are all the uh, cosmetic medical procedures. The lip fillers are the most ridiculous because they're so common. I mean, so you have smaller lips, so what? You don't want them looking like balloons? The face fillers, like what Madonna got and this lady got, are absolutely hideous. And every time someone gets something like that done, it either makes them look non-human and extremely uncanny and creepy, or it looks like a male who is trying way too hard to look like a female. And then there's all those face filters on the mobile apps. It's so ridiculously fake, but it's also looking more and more realistic. And I'm hoping, it seems that you go to certain circles, it seems that people are starting to see it for what it is. It's visually deceiving people. Not maliciously, but still. I mean, not most of the time anyway. I mean, I suppose there's examples of it being done maliciously, but, you know, for the most part, people just want to look their best. And again, people should have the right to present themselves any way they want. But that doesn't mean that people should have to look at that as someone being their genuine selves. You know, that's just absurd. Who someone genuinely is shows in their actions and how they treat others and kindness and all of that sort of thing, not, not this, uh, you know, way that they're presenting themselves visually. Do you think if or when people start to get burned out on this sort of stuff, that a more natural look might start to trend? The 1990s had some decent examples of the natural look, and I, I, I put my hands up this way when, you know, I should put it in quotation marks or whatever, because it's a term that I'm using very loosely, because it still usually involves a lot of makeup, sometimes just as expensive as the stuff that looks expensive. But it is attempting to have an appearance as if it's more natural. Though there are obviously a lot of very bad examples. The worst thing I'm seeing floating around are people getting freckle tattoos. And I mean, why? I mean, apparently they only last for a certain number of years, but why would you do that? Whatever, I've rambled long enough. Thanks for watching.